So I did a little bit of farming and I got myself some Icker arrows because I've been testing on a journey mode character um, how to do Skeletron Prime with, with the stuff that we currently have. So basically, you know, using the Hallowed Repeater, the Stormbow, and then the, the Hallowed Armor. And my findings were that Icker arrows were quite strong against them. So we're going to jump over and we're going to buy us some Icker arrows or buy some arrows and then make some Icker arrows. So normal arrows or, you know, actually just using the Molten Quiver, it wasn't bad. It actually worked pretty well. And out of the five times that I tested the boss, I died twice. <laughs> right we're using the exact same stuff on the same setup so out of the five times doing it i died twice keep that in mind that kind of sucks because that's not good odds in my favor don't like that at all um we're just gonna create 900 of those because i don't think i really ever needed more well you know what let's um, i did get kind of low once i don't think i'm gonna use more than 900 arrows so we should be fine. Let me let me drop the Icker back in to here. And just as a reminder, you get the Icker from killing all of the um, the underground corruption stuff. So really kind of annoying to do, but it's more of a grind than anything at this point. But our our rate of death and life on Skeletron Prime with this current setup uh, not uh, not favorable. So this actually could be the episode where this all ends just just like throwing it out there right that is a high possibility based on my testing now then again my testing um included the uh these accessories without any rerolls and weapons and stuff without any rerolls so that may make the difference um but i actually i guess the terra spark boots i was using and the worm scarf I was using on my journey mode character. So, they, you know, it's not complete parody, but for the most part, it is. Uh, it gives me a pretty good idea of how well this is going to work. Now, the, the reason the Icker arrows work is because they reduce the target's defense by 20. And if I'm just focusing in using the repeater on Skeletron Prime, just that, 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 right? Just like shooting right in his face every single time I get the opportunity. You do reduce his health pretty quickly with the Icker arrows, but without them, uh, it does take a while to do the fight. And fight fatigue is a real thing; it really does uh, kick in, and that's not that's not great. It's not something that you want to be doing um, in the middle of a fight, feeling like, oh goodness, I don't I don't know if I can keep going with this. So there's a lot to be said there, but otherwise, I'm confident in our ability like to dodge and stuff but there's times and the times that i died doing it were when i would get caught out or with a bad sequence of things happening like getting shot by his lasers and a bomb hits me because it happens to land on the platform and then i get knocked back and then his head lands on me and spins and then i die or something like that like it's not great stuff but uh yeah i'm i'm confident in my ability to do it i'm not confident in the abilities game or in the game's ability not to screw me over so that's going to be tough additionally another thing that i wanted to do was to come over here and change this to hallowed um, i think that would be really cool because then we have a place right next to the dungeon to jump over and then we can put a place over here for the um for the snow biome but we we do have to clear out the rest of this meteorite which kind of sucks but we can do that and then on top of that um, I need to build a thing here and I need to get rid of the hallowed here. So here's the problem. I also wanted to test the queen slime, but I decided not to because in order to fight her, you have to spawn her in a hallowed biome, which is not great. And this is not a good area right here for us to fight her. So it's not really worth it for us to try there. It's, it's better for me to create a house, uh, move the, um, the steampunker in and then be able to do it that way. Now, the Steampunker, whom we have over here, does sell the Clintaminator. And I got, I mean, I got a little bit of gold farming, but not a lot. I think I only had like 60 or something before, so it's not, not great. But she sells this, the Clintaminator. So this is a really good way of creating 
the biomes that we need. Um, the green solution will just turn it to normal forest. Uh, the problem is it does cost nearly, but with her in this current biome, which is not her happy place, it does cost nearly two platinum, but we do want to save up for that and get that because that's going to be the thing that allows us to do this, to, to turn this to hallowed and not this. But, um, yeah, unfortunately we do have to move a character into, or we need to move her into a house in the hallowed in order to buy the correct, um, the correct solution for it. And then once we're able to do that, then we can do it. So that's going to be kind of the next goal after killing Skeletron Prime, if we kill him. Which, you know, my the odds are in my favor here, based on me, you know, going only two deaths out of five. But at the same time, I did just want to say, like, I've been really happy with the progress that I've made on, on Hardcore. Like, exceptionally happy, actually. To the point where I kind of feel like... I was expecting to not get this far into hard mode, and I did. So if I'm able to kill Skeletron Prime, um, I would say that far exceeds my expectations of how far I would get during this, right? So if I kill Skeletron Prime, I am exceeding my expectations. With that said, um, if, if we kill him and then we die to something stupid, Oh, I don't want to use my good arrows on that. If we, if we die to something stupid, like, I don't know, like like a, a specter or a wraith or something stupid, then then I it would suck. But at the same time, you know, I've killed I've killed Skeletron Prime. I've killed all three of the mechanical bosses. I feel pretty good about that. So it is just a matter of balancing it out. Now, Plantera and Golem, I don't find very difficult, but there are other bosses that I do. And I think the hardest part of playing in hardcore is going to be the f the finale of killing the moon lord if i get to that point okay i'm starting to get overrun here and i think i've blabbered on long enough i think it's time to kill skeleton prime even though i don't i don't i don't want to attempt this Woo! getting uh assaulted right off the bat i don't want to attempt this but you know what i think i think we're pretty confident in our ability to do this also i'm going to turn off the map again that seems to help um, with our spatial awareness during these kind of fights, at, at least some fights. There are fights like Duke Fisher on which I feel like I kind of need the map towards the um, end of the fight. Now, the thing with this is our Icker arrows are going to be the thing, like I said before, doing a lot of the damage here, as you can tell. Normal arrows, you just do not do this uh, amount of damage as quickly as I am. Um, but the thing is... You just completely ignore all the hands. You you really want to not get hit by stuff, uh, as I got hit by stuff there. But yeah, you're not you're not trying to you're not trying to assault the hands at all. You're just aiming for the head. There there is strategies involved, or are strategies involved where you do do the uh, the face or not the face, but the hand killing. But in my in my case, I am uh, I want to kill the face. I think, I think it's better for us. I think we end up being far more focused on damage and uh, you get the fight over a lot quicker. And that's really important in my opinion because the longer that you take, the, the more mistakes that you're gonna end up making. I wanna kinda change uh, from going this way as quickly as possible. There we go, that worked out. I feel like at this point, I'm just trying to keep him away from me as much as I can. I mean, I guess I've been doing that this entire time, but um, I've taken a couple hits here and there. The Hallowed Armor does help prevent some like disastrous moments, but not super bad. Right, let's get him away from my face, please. We almost have him. So far, this is going better than most attempts that I practiced with. It could be the, uh, the rolls on my accessories helping out a little bit. I'm gonna pop a potion there. It was a preemptive potion, knowing that I might get hit, but we did it. I cannot believe it. The jungle grows restless. Yeah, that was really fantastic. So let's put our Skeletron Prime one down. You know what? I, I, I need to actually make a shrine at this point. Whew. Okay, so we have our souls. Um, we have all of them. Where did I put them? I put the souls of, I don't want the souls of flight. I want the souls of sight and the souls of might. 
Uh, I suppose I could also get... Do I have any extra hallowed bars? I do. I have a bunch after killing all that stuff. So the thing that we make here now is we make the pickaxe axe. So it's pickaxe, but it's also an axe. Um, and that's better than our pickaxe. And that thing is what is going to allow us to go to the jungle, which technically, right, technically is the next stop. However, I'm not... I'm not super confident in the jungle at the moment. The thing, okay, the thing with the jungle is that you do get, uh, where should I put these souls anymore? I'm honestly not sure. Maybe I just get rid of those two hellstone and just drop all three of them in there just for the time being. Do I have any place to put that feather? I do. Oh, and then we have some uh, mechanical pieces, which, my goodness, where did I put those? Miscellaneous? I don't even remember. I'm going to have to find all of them. I found them. They were in the uh, vanity. All right, so we're going to come here. We're going to make our mechanical cart. It's better than our eyesore of a bee cart, <laughs> but whatever. So, you know, we could go like this is this is technically the correct progression to go over here and to get chlorophyte uh, ore, which allows us to make uh, the next set of armor. But hallowed armor is quite good. And yeah, chlorophyte's fine and everything, but I'm not really sure that I want to switch out my armor. I will switch out the repeater though, because the chlorophyte bow is really quite strong. So I think what we do is we get one of our spelunkers. Do I just want one? Oh, we can also collect life fruit now. So we can get above 400 health as well. Here, let's go over to the jungle. I still have a bunch of buffs, so this is actually quite worth it. And let's get our food buff back on, of course. Do I still have my, my, my spideys? I do. Good. Right. So we're looking for green ore. We're looking for the chlorophyte ore. And we'll be able to mine it with our new pickaxe. Pick axe, axe. Is that it? No, that's uh, mithril or whatever that is. Definitely not chlor. Well, kind of looks like chlorophyte ore. I actually don't remember what it even looks like at this point. <laughs> it's been so long. Should we check it? Uh, I need the moon glow anyways. Definitely not chlorophyte. But hey. We know. Right. Oh, I really don't want to be using those. Let's go back to our endless quiver. Yeah, like, you know, those those arrows are super good. And I don't want to be wasting. Oh, there's some chlorophyte just to my side there. But I don't, uh, I don't really want to dig for just a little bit. Chlorophyte stuff, it, it does actually grow. So you don't want to get yourself into a situation where you're just digging little bits. Because the next time you come back, if you needed more of it. Uh, technically, it's a little easier to... Ooh, there's a health thing there. I didn't even know. Um, there's a bunch of chlorophyte over there. I think I think I get this one. I think that's a, that's a quick way. Getting that. Then we got to look for a bit more. I mean, this pickaxe just digs so fast. <laughs> it's really nice. Can I um, put the, the queen spider thing in there? Just to kill that barracuda. Those things are nasty, by the way. You really don't want to have to deal with those. They do a lot of damage. I think I've mentioned that before, but... Whew. If you're playing hardcore, and you're just working your way across the map after uh, after getting into hard mode, because, I don't know, you need to go to somewhere. Oh, there's a chest there that I haven't looted. I may as well go loot it. You never know what might be in it. It'd be funny if it were the stupid thing that I needed the entire time. It was an anklet or something. Is that what it was? <laughs> I hate you, game. Whatever. Whatever. You know, I haven't noticed any life fruit yet. I gotta keep an eye out for that. Because I know I know I can collect it. I just haven't noticed any. Uh, usually, you, I mean, we like just killed the, the final of the mechanical bosses. And uh, honestly, it does take a little bit for it to start growing. I mean, I should have seen one by now if I was paying attention. And I, you know what? I, I wouldn't doubt that you guys in the comments are going to be like, dude, <laughs> at this time code, you walked by three of them. I'm like, oh, goodness, because that, that happens often. But you know what? It's, it's fine. Everything's fine. We're over here just crushing it. Although this stupid angry trapper is really quite annoying. Okay, come, come here. Come here. I know you want to. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to put my spider thing over there. I please keep getting my chlorophyte. Uh, once the spelunker's up, ooh, wow, hallowed armor saved me there. Once the spelunker's up, 
I think I'm gonna go back and make my bow. Uh, because that bow, like I said, you'll see, is crazy. It's really, really nice. It'll help um, push our progression forward from here. Which is gonna, you know, progression will happen fairly steady at this rate. Although I got all these hornets here. What the heck is going on? I'm like super hornet assaulted. Get out of here. Bad hornets. You too. There we go. Get that. Let's kill the tortoise before he gets me. Okay, that's a bunch of gold there, actually. That's kind of nice. Uh, I got 10 seconds left on this, so let's um, work over. Is that adamantite? Is that adamantite just like taunting me? I think it is. I'll, I'm going to get this chlorophyte and then head back. So I did find a life fruit here. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Boom. It goes up to 405. Obviously, we need quite a few of those. But hey, you know, look, we found our first one. So I'm not I'm not completely bad at this game. I'm just mildly bad. I like it. I like that I can find those. Ooh, did I just find another? Um, oh, I don't have my mini map on. No, okay, so that's the one that we fought the queen bee out of. It would have been kind of cool to find another one because um, it is it is kind of fun to go back. If all right, I should say this is like really really optimistic. It is fun to go back after you've cleared everything and kill all the old bosses and be like, look what I can do with all the new armor. Not that I would do that on a hardcore character, but I would definitely consider it. Is that uh, safe? I sh that was actually really risky of me just opening up that way. I very much could have just gone straight into a, a chest that is um, trapped and I, I don't know. I just got way too cocky there. All right, so let's make our bars. Not gonna make many, but I know that it, it is enough to make this. So it it says it only does 48. Bear with me though. So ooh, that's forceful too. All right. So obviously 80 compared to 48 is pretty good. However, this thing shoots three freaking arrows like a shotgun, which is really quite good. So I'm gonna go reroll this and try to get just get off me. Try to get a little bit more damage on it. Um, and that should help out. Ooh, I got deadly right when I was about to run out of money. Um, that's quite good. It's good because of the speed and the velocity and obviously the extra damage, but that is uh, really nice. I like that quite a bit. All right, let's head back and I can come over here, drop a bunch of stuff in my chests. Um, do I need that anklet of wind? I'm not sure I do. I have the terror, terror Spark Boots. I don't think this is used for anything else. Let's ask the guide just to double check before I go and sell it. No, it is. Okay, so that's fine. So we're just going to come in. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to the merchant because he's, he's kind of, you know, he's, he's okay over here. He's kind of happy. So we'll sell some stuff to him and get a little bit better prices. Right. Uh, get rid of those. I'm going to put this uh, back at our base. Now, the, the chlorophyte armor, I got to clarify, is really good. But playing hardcore, the hallowed stuff, it's hard to give up. You really need like a, a good reason to give it up in order to want to get rid of it. So something to consider if you're playing in hardcore. Do I really not have any space for this weapon? Ugh, that kind of sucks. Well, I, you know what? Did I pick up another chest somewhere? I think I did, and it dropped it in to one of these. All right, I found it. So we're going to drop the murderous hallowed repeater there, and we're going to keep our chlorophyte one. Um, I think, I think what I want to do is go test this sucker out. Um, let's get this. Let's get a couple more of these. Let's go back to potions. Grab a couple of these. Do I have a danger sense in here? No, I don't think I do. And I don't think I can make one either. Ah, that's unfortunate. All right, well, we can go with these two spelunkers. Uh, oh, you know what? I want to... Before I just use these needlessly, I'm going to drop these in here because I don't really need those. But I'll use everything. Uh, Hunter Potion too. <laughs> that, that too. Don't need that. Let's just drop that in there. All right, now let's go over to the jungle. Try out a new bow. You know what? I, okay, so I'm on my way down here, and I realized something. Um, I really should just try this. I'm going to go back over to the vendor. I'm going to shop. I'm going to grab one of these. 
It's not that, not that expensive. We're going to go back to the forest. And I want to get myself some... Let me pick some of this up. I just want some hay. I think I only need like 20. I don't need much. I'm going to put that back in the, the toolbox, I think. I, I don't think I bought one before, though I could be wrong. And... Oh, by the way, you can make chlorified arrows. They bounce. They're incredible. <laughs> They're really good in some situations. I really like it. This poor dryad is like dying over and over. Where can I make there? Uh, mannequin. No, I don't want a mannequin. I want a dummy, but I cannot find one. All right. Well, I got to talk to the guide real quick. How much of this stuff do I need to make a dummy? I need 50. Are you kidding me? That's so much. All right, that's fine. Whatever. It's only going to take me a, a second to get, but but really? 50? Come on. Head back over. Come back over here. All right, make myself a... Crap, now I can't find it anymore. A dummy. Okay, boom. Target dummy. Uh, where do we want to put the target dummy? Honestly, all of these are really bad spots because if I'm fighting any kind of invasion, this thing is... All right, let's, let's put it up here. That'll do. And let's go get the other bow. I want to compare damage based on what we got going on. Uh, there it is. I just want to make sure... Because I think that the chlorophyte short bow is good, but I want to double check. Oh, and I don't have the DPS meter. Crap. I thought I had one. Let's see if I do. There it is. Okay, put that there. Come up here. And, all right, let's compare with the old one. Uh, let's just do that. Okay, so damage before with this one. Uh, let's say 420. It's a pretty good average. Uh, it went up quite a bit there because like crits. Let's say 420. Okay, so then with this chlorophyte short bow, let's try this. Like, obviously, right? Huge DPS increase there. But that's with all three arrows hitting at the same time. But that's big. It, you know, when it when they all crit, it goes up to like 700. But it's, it's about 520. So it's about 100 damage upgrade. That's not bad. I, um, I think that is quite strong. That should push us forward uh, damage-wise for a little bit. Uh, we're probably still going to need... And you know what? Let's Because I'm at it, I may as well test this one. So you can see not as great because then all the arrows are hitting. But when it comes to like killing big AOE packs, it is a little bit better. Oh, you know what? I Okay, so I was looking up what other potential items we could use with this build. And uh, yeah, the Chlorify armor is on there. But you know what I totally forgot existed and what I wanted to test to begin with on Skeletron Prime but totally forgot about? That poor dryad. Just you know what? Let's here before I do before I reveal the weapon I was talking about. Let's go. Let's go help this poor girl because she is just just having an issue. You know what I mean? Like here, let's let's build this out. I know it doesn't look great, but I just I just want her to live. You know what I mean? <laughs> she keeps she keeps going down this way and dying immediately. Oh, also she keeps dying off over here. Here we'll do the same thing. We'll go up or out, and then we'll go up a bit there we go she'll be fine now hopefully hopefully she stops dying it's cracking me up but it is a little annoying when it happens uh, constantly so i need shark fins crap okay well i guess mm, that sucks i gotta find myself some sharks so goodness i you know how much of an issue i had farming sharks before i guess i go hunter potion and I got some gills potions that I can use too. I'll get another hunter potion. Although ironically, the hunter potion is, you know, we need the, the shark fins in order to get that in the first place. But uh, we need to get some shark fins because uh, I'm gonna make a cool weapon. You know, with the gills potion stuff, this is uh, quite a bit easier to do our normal back and forth routine. But my goodness, crabs, they spawn so quickly and I have such a hard time, like apparently, I've killed 16 crabs. Cannot find any freaking sharks. It's so annoying. I think this might end up being one of those things that I just zone out for a bit and get myself my five shark fins and then I come back and, and we make a cool item because I don't... Oh, there's one. Okay, so that's nice, but I'm going to need more than that. 
I just don't want to spend too much time doing this. And it looks like, you know, kind of based on our current uh, trajectory here, it's going to take a bit. Okay, I ended up getting six, which um, was not necessarily uh, intended, but I got two sharks that spawned right at the end there together. Now I need to come over to uh, Mr. Man over here. We're gonna, oh crap, I don't even have enough gold. No, <laughs> uh, what, what can I sell? Ah, crap, okay, I gotta find, I got gold. I need gold, I need gold soon, because it is um, gonna run out of time doing this. Okay, where's, where's some stuff that I can sell? Just anything, any odd thing uh, that will sell for a bit. How about we sell some of these, because I don't need any of these anymore. All right, let's jump over. We go back to here, we go back to you. We go to the shop and we sell those. Ah, now we have enough. We need illegal gun parts. Um, so what do we have? We have illegal gun parts. We have shark fins. We, I, you could probably put two and two together at this point if you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, if you've never seen this, it is really cool. Where, however, is our mini shark. There it is. And then the final thing we need Souls of Might, which we have plenty of. I think we need like 20 of them. Uh, and what's your... I beg your pardon? When can you make a flamethrower? How have I never known about a flamethrower? That sounds awesome. No, 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 no. Mega Shark. Actually, it, it's also got a good roll on it. But what was it? It was like 520 DPS with the um, with the, the bow. Oh, I don't have my DPS thing. Now I got to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, crap. Okay, go back. Uh, I put it in uh, there. Cool. All right, now let's go back over here with the mega shark, not not no mini shark. You know what? That's comparable to the bow. So if I had chlorophyte bullets, or not even chlorophyte bullets, what are they called? I think they're called the, the crystal bullets is what they are, which kind of uh, explode into tiny shards. If you're doing... Skeletron Prime, little tip, actually, if you're doing him or the twins, their heads are big enough that those shards often hit the actual thing. So, like, it does damage, it breaks into shards, and then the shards also hit the head. So, it's not bad, and it is a potential way of doing this. And, you know, we're, we're using just normal bullets here, which is nine, but if, if we, you know, zoomed this up to 11, you can tell now we're hitting 500 DPS, and if you go and um, get, like, Icker bullets, I believe they have, then, you know, obvious, obvious huge DPS increase. But I wanted this as a potential because potentially this may end up being better for a couple bosses. Uh, we'll, we'll end up seeing, but I, I definitely wanted to make that before I forgot about it. Uh, so we'll pop that in there. And uh, where did I put my staff? Boom. Okay. Now, the thing is, at the end of the day, I'm quite happy with our build that we have going on, right? Like, this bow is super good. The next big thing outside of doing, you know, our houses, which is definitely something that I want to do. Let's put that in there so we can actually use that for Hunter Potion later. Um, Glorify, Fallen Star. Actually, can I just get rid of all that? That works. So, outside of doing our Hallowed House, which... I may do in my own time because that's just really going to require farming um, some gold out in order to get the Clintaminator or getting her in the right biome to buy it for a lot cheaper and then building a house here to get the the, the solution to make this into hallowed and then make a house here. I may end up doing that between episodes. I'm not quite sure how I want to do that yet. But outside of that, the next obvious thing is go get more Chlorify. Go find the Plantera Bulb and get it in a position where we're able to, I don't actually see a bulb um, on our map, though we haven't really explored much, but then get a big arena set up and then we potentially just go and kill Plantera next. So who knows, like right now we're kind of flying. We've killed one of the mechanical bosses um, for each episode, the last three episodes, which feels nice, but I feel like I still got a lot of work to do.